so it is the next day, day three of our little trip. And um, so, woke up, made some coffee because we brought our percolator with us because, I mean, that's what coffee snobs do. Um, <laughs> uh, so, got some coffee, just went to get some breakfast because the, uh, the little office area opened up for breakfast. They don't have a whole lot going on, but... Then again, there's only like three or four rooms probably with somebody in it. This is their off season probably. Uh, but that's okay because the stuff they do have out is the kind of thing I would want. So I'll show you what I got here for breakfast. So unfortunately they do use styrofoam. There's not really much I can do about that, but I was able to get some, some toast with strawberry jam, a little bit of uh, orange and a little cup of grapes here. And then of course I've got my coffee here. We even brought our own mugs so that we can just reuse our mugs and stuff. Um, yeah, so kind of a fruit-filled breakfast, a little bit of bread there, so that's good. And then once that settles, I gotta get out for a run today. All right, I'm about to head out for my run and it is zero degrees Celsius, so 32 Fahrenheit, and it feels like minus seven, which is like uh, probably somewhere around 20 Fahrenheit. So it's a little chill out there today, so I've, I'm layered up pretty good. I'm aiming for at least 5K today, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I am pretty well dressed. I've got a couple layers, got my windbreaker. I've got uh, some thermals on under my shorts, and uh, I'm gonna have one of those, you know, face shield mask thingies and my, and my good running hat, so I should be okay, but to be the first time running in sub-freezing temperatures this year so we'll see what happens uh, I'd like to say that I'm gonna be able to show you guys a little bit of uh, footage from the run but that's probably not gonna happen it's gonna be too cold for that so we'll see all right I don't know what the audio is gonna be like because everything's probably pretty muffled up but it's uh, it's flurrying so I should clarify that this isn't the first time this year that I've run in sub-freezing temps, but first time in this season. Obviously I was running back in July or January and stuff, but yeah, it's cool out, but I'm feeling good. Just keeping it slow. A couple really good hills. And uh, turned around at 4K. So that'll be an 8K total run. Seeing an entirely new area. I've never been here before, so that's kind of nice. Nice and quiet, a good road, not a lot of traffic. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. parking lot of uh, Value Village. It's like a plaza here with Value Village, a grocery store, liquor store, Starbucks just off to the side. Um, and a guy walking by that was looking at me weird. Don't stare at me, buddy. Anyway, um, yeah, so Jamie went into Value Village while I went and got my hair cut. There's a place just about, oh, I don't know, a quarter of a mile over there somewhere. So uh, it's really cold. It's really cold and windy, as I mentioned earlier. I didn't wear my hat over because I didn't want my hair to get like compressed down from where I washed it earlier. Um, but it was super quick. I was able to get in and out within like 15 minutes tops. I was the only person there. So, I mean, it takes no time at all to buzz hair, right? Um, a little pricey, you know. I mean, obviously you go in, you get a buzz cut, you're like 10 minutes and it's, uh, you know, it's pretty close to 20 bucks, I mean, yeah, it's pretty pricey, but the alternative was just, I didn't I didn't get my hair done in time before I came on this vacation. And it's just annoying to have it so long that it's kind of getting a little mullety in the back. And it's like, ah, just, I hate it. Um, and um, yeah, I just like having a nice, nice, fresh, clean, 
about three eighths of an inch kind of deal. Somewhere around there between three eighths and a half is what I usually do. Um, so anyway, just gonna go into Value Village cause that's where Jamie is now. Like I said, uh, meet up in there. We had, oh yeah. So because we don't have Starbucks at home, because we don't, um, you know, really spoil ourselves or do much. When we do go on vacation, we take these road trips. We do tend to, um, you know, spend a little bit of money, do a couple things because we just live in such a small ass rural area that these are luxuries for us. And no, we don't need these things. And I know I've had a couple people on a couple of other videos that I've done where I've been vlogging while traveling on vacation saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't spend your money on this and blah, blah, blah. Well, anybody who feels like it's their place to tell me how to spend my money, you can go straight to hell because that's my business. Anyway, I save my money for vacations and um, you know, any money that I do other things with that I either raise for the animals or whatever, you know, I'm very conscientious most of the time with what I'm purchasing, how I'm spending my money. And every now and then, a couple weeks out of the year, I just need to take time for my mental health, take care of myself. I'm a firm believer that if we're not taking care of ourselves and we're not 100% then there's no way we can actively work for the animals and be our best efficient selves. And so yeah, we treat ourselves a couple times a year and whatever. Okay, didn't mean to get angry or upset there, just uh, it's one of those items that I'm not willing to, uh, to discuss anymore with anybody. So I just thought I'd put that out there. Don't even bother asking the question. Um, all right, yeah, so Starbucks, woo! <laughs> Um, long story short, um, we are trying the uh, gingerbread latte. Uh, I don't know what it's like everywhere, but here in Canada, the gingerbread uh, seasoning is vegan, or at least here it is, because that's what a Google search and the information at the store told me. So always check your ingredients, like with anything, keeping in mind that there are varying ingredients and varying everything in different parts of the world. So even if you see any YouTuber or whatever, like make a recipe video, like my recent Thanksgiving video, always check the ingredients where you are and don't just assume that because something was accidentally vegan or listed as vegan, you know, even a month ago that it still is. It's, it's important that we continue to watch our ingredients and pay attention because those shady bastards like the shade, you know, like to put milk ingredients and other crap in food that doesn't need to be there. So anyway, um, review on the uh, gingerbread latte. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of good flavor. It's not overly sweet. I like it. I like it. But all right, I'm gonna go back inside and meet up with Jamie and we'll do some value village thrifting. We don't, I don't think we're gonna end up buying a lot. We're just kind of looking around, something to do, and then we're gonna go visit her grandmother. So here we go. We got some uh, crunch wraps. There's Jamie's. So the trick here was to um, swap out a few things, but Instead of the beef, we got beans. Instead of the sour cream, we got guac. And instead of, oh yeah, just no cheese. So it's pretty easy to swap it out and make it good. Um, and yeah, I don't think that in Canada, it was that they were putting the milk in the rice. Maybe it was, but I looked at, <clears throat> we Googled that too, even though we didn't get any rice with this meal. We did look at that as well. And, they're just saying that there's like a possible cross-contamination thing, so like a may contain, but, so they either fixed it or never broke it in Canada. Hard to say, but yeah, so just chowing down, having a little bit there to eat, and then we're gonna go off and visit Jamie's grandma. So we'll catch up with you folks in a bit. day. What is today? Tuesday? 
yeah, today's Tuesday. So today's the last full day and then we head home tomorrow. So I'm gonna head out for my run. I was gonna do like a half marathon distance, but we were out a little bit later than we intended to last night. Intended to be, so we got home later, of course. I say home, back to the hotel, motel. Uh, a little bit of a later night, so just gonna go out for a little over an hour. And then I'm gonna head out and do a couple of other uh, thrifting things and whatnot. <clears throat> Spend some more time visiting some family. So I'm gonna get out there and I doubt I'll probably show you guys very much of it because it's, again, another very cold, windy day in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. So here I am at this uh, really nice old abandoned rail bridge, just over this kind of marshy area. I absolutely love it here. This video does not do it justice. Way up in the distance, right up in here, you can see the ferry to Newfoundland that leads from North Sydney. <clears throat> barely see it but it is up there I've taken that ferry a few times in my life it's about a five and a half six hour crossing something like that but yeah I just uh, thought I'd jump on the tracks here it, obviously this is not a rail to trail and I'm just getting off like right up here connects back to the road but uh, yeah got a couple pigeon friends up on the rail here you can't really see but just thought I'd check it out it uh, seems like a nice spot As you can see, we're getting a little bit of snow here, so um, I'm just packing up the car with some stuff that we're not going to need. I'm going to leave here early tomorrow morning, I'm trying to stay out of the snow while I do this. It's not actually cold out, really. It's a couple degrees over freezing, just a matter of some snow coming down. Um, so we're going to leave early tomorrow and try to beat out what's coming tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, hit the road. So I know I haven't been vlogging a whole lot, but really, honestly, it's, I haven't really been doing anything other than just kind of thrifting a little bit. Um, I'm sure Jamie's going to have like a huge haul video on her channel or whatever. I'm just kind of doing my thing, relaxing while I'm not at work and uh, going for runs. And then a lot of time we're just spending with her family, which is not really a vlog situation. So um, yeah, about eight o'clock now. It's going to be an early night tonight. Get up early grab some coffee and some breakfast and, uh, and hit the road so um, I think I'll probably just wrap this one up and uh, you know start fresh again tomorrow I know it's not really exciting but honestly it's just been about relaxing and the day away from work and just kind of doing my thing so if it's not interesting I do apologize this is my life all right peace guys mm -hmm.